I mean, we're at a remarkable time in that cost of solar photovoltaics has dropped by over 70% in the last six years. Wind has dropped by over 50% in cost over the last six years. And what it means is that forgetting subsidies and everything, just pure uh, rock bottom economics, the cheapest power plants to be installed anywhere in the world in 2015 and in 2016 were renewable energy projects. And in fact, the current world leader on a new large scale project is something that happened early in 2016 when Dubai and the Middle East contracted for and accepted a bid for 800 megawatts, very large scale facility, 800 megawatts of solar photovoltaics at 2.99 cents per kilowatt hour, for which there was shock, amazement, excitement, and some skeptics said, well, that must be some unique deal that was struck. Three months later, they did a second round, a second tender, and they accepted a project at 2.54 cents per kilowatt hour. And so this is definitely, for me, the MC Hammer moment. Can't touch this because no fossil project, no nuclear, no hydro, no nothing can meet those, those costs, those prices. But the only thing that's competitive with the greenest energy is energy efficiency. And of course, efficiency and renewables are this amazingly important, powerful partnership. And so where we are price-wise and deployment-wise, the world has changed. And that means that while not every renewable energy project is the cheapest, of course, there's lots of cases where the sun isn't as good, the wind isn't as good, or the transmission lines don't go to where those projects are, the best projects are also the cheapest. And that has redrawn the landscape in ways that no amount of political shenanigans, uh, climate denialism can touch. Those are the best economic projects today.